Hi everyone, uh, out at the field today doing um, another uh, field evaluation of this uh, 6x4 APC gas prop. Uh, this time on the uh, very popular 2212-6-2200 kV uh, motor, which is uh, probably the most popular uh, park jet motor. Uh, this one, I just call them no name, I think I got this off eBay or Gearbest. Uh, it's pretty much equivalent in every way to the Turnigy 2826-6. Uh, 2200 except uh, you can find them pretty cheap for about five bucks uh, on eBay or uh, I think I might have got this from Ge Gearbest I can't remember anyway it doesn't matter um, so anyway for those of you who have watched my some of my videos you know that uh, I love to run the master air screw 6x4x3 three-bladed prop with this motor and uh, again like you might have seen in a couple of other my videos um, RC Plane Pirate a uh, great guy from the UK um, tested this prop and I've, uh, you know, you can watch other videos for the whole story. But anyway, he made a great recommendation and I've tried this prop on several motors and it's a real winner, uh, including on this one. So uh, let's let's just get her in the air for some thrash and I'll do some more, uh, some more yakking. So only needs about 50% throttle, uh, about mid-range throttle 50%. It's actually putting out about two ounces more thrust, believe it or not, than the three-bladed prop. <laughs> Top end speed, I think the three-bladed prop might have just a tiny edge, I'm not sure. Uh, too much for my 56-year-old uh, uh, eyeglass-assisted Mark I eyeballs to tell anyway. But it's pretty, uh, it's pretty quick. Of course, this is a pretty light plane. I did gain uh, about 23 grams popping this motor in this plane. I was previously running a little quad racing motor. The beautiful thing is with this motor, um, is that, or this prop, I mean, is that I get a lot of, uh, a lot of power with a, with a pretty low amp draw. Uh, with. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, <laughs> um, with the six x four APC electric, which was actually you know the Hobby King knockoff that I've used for hundreds and thousands of flights, um, it pulls about twenty three and a half uh, amps, gives me about twenty seven, not quite twenty eight ounces of thrust. With this prop, uh, I'm drawing about the same amps. But the, the uh, ounces of thrust jumped to 30, plus this prop runs a lot quieter. Uh, the Master Air Screw 6x4x3 <laughs> Get it close enough to feel the prop wash, then I'll know I'm getting a little too close. <laughs> uh, the Master Air Screw 6x4x3 produces a little bit more thrust, uh, about 31 ounces. But it also draws uh, over just over 28 amps, so this is uh, definitely, uh, you know, it may be losing a tiny bit of speed top end, but it's a, definitely a lot more uh, efficient. Like I've been checking my batteries. I, I flew my first few flights with the 6x4x3 prop, checked my batteries every time after coming down, and then I've been doing the same with this prop, and. You know, just based on how much juice is left in my batteries, there's about f at least 5% more juice left over for flying the same amount of time and the same flight profile. So, you know, if you weren't quite as heavy on the, heavy on the gas as I am. You'd probably get even better endurance. But, uh, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with this prop now. This is, uh... You know, like I've said, uh, just just great numbers uh, on the bench and great performance in the air so far on all the the uh, motors that I've tested it on. Uh, the other nice thing, I guess, compared to uh, the uh, Master Air Screw prop is uh, this is much cheaper. This prop is, I think, cost me about two dollars and forty cents American. The Master Air Screw pops are about twice that, close to five dollars American. Uh, plus to get them from uh, either a vendor in Canada or from the vendor in the States, the Master Air Screw props, I mean, 
the postage is uh, pretty steep, whereas aiming was really, really good to me on the postage on these. So yeah, again, <laughs> uh, give it a, give it a try. If you can get a touch, you know, if you run this motor in your planes, uh, in your park jets, um, you know, most of us that fly a park jet have flown a plane with this motor at one time. Uh, give it a try. If you can get a hold of a uh, an APC, this is an actual brand name APC, it's not a knockoff. Um, 6x4 uh, gas prop. Uh, really, really impressed with the uh, the difference in performance both on the bench and in the air, which is where it counts the most. So, uh, once again, big shout out to RC Plane Pirate. Uh, uh, I keep learning more and more from them every day. We exchange stuff back and forth through uh, through different uh, YouTube videos. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link to his to his channel below. Please check it out. He does some awesome testing, uh, far beyond what I do, and. Uh, He's a very, very uh, knowledgeable and approachable fellow. If you have any questions, uh, you know, dro drop him a comment on one of his videos. So uh, there we go, folks. Uh, yeah, lots of fun. Uh, we've had, uh, as you can see here, <laughs> monsoon-like rains here in the last several days. There's all kinds of puddles all over the runway. And this morning when I came out to try and fly, that big lake there was all the way out to the side of the runway. I think there was, might have been even some ducks on it when I, that I scared them off when I first got here. But I uh, couldn't fly then because it was still raining. So anyway, thanks for watching. Blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.